Hey guitar fam and friends, what's going on? It's Nate back here with another episode of the Improv Loop. And uh, this is kind of a significant episode because we're making the switch from talking about playing over major chords to talking about playing over minor chords. And uh, what better way to do that than the king of all scale shapes, the minor pentatonic scale. And um, in this lesson, I really wanna go over a way that you can use your minor pentatonic box that everybody knows. <laughs> that one to play not only over minor chords but also to play over major chords too it's kind of a segue uh, from playing switching over to from major chords to minor chords so um, before we get into this I just want to mention if you need a resource for some jam tracks for improvising you know over chord changes uh, one of our guitar fan members started a YouTube channel called Merlin Music, and all that is is a bunch of jam tracks, so it's a great resource. You, should go, you can pull up kind of a random jam track. There are easy ones, there are more complicated ones, and um, just pull it up and see if you can hit the changes, you know, either major or minor chords, so that's a really good um, resource for you. Again, it's Merlin Music. I'll put a screenshot of it here for you. All right, let's really get into what's going on in here, kind of in the context of the other things that we've been talking about. So far, we've been talking about you know playing over major chords, like a G major chord, with major pentatonic scales uh, going, something, you know, walking up the arpeggios. And then coming back down the major pentatonic, knowing exactly what chord tones we're on from the chord, you know, root, fifth, third, root, okay? but. And we've been in the key of G major, so for this lesson, just because you'll see it makes it a little bit easier, we're gonna be in the key of A major. So just move your bar chord up, your E major bar chord shape up to where you're playing an A major. And you can still use that major pentatonic we've been working with this whole time to make up things, right? But you can also use your minor pentatonic skill you know, the one that has the lowest root notes on the low E string with your first finger starting. But when you do that, when you start with your first finger, it makes that shape minor pentatonic. So if we started on that A, we'd be playing an A minor pentatonic scale. But we don't want, for right now, we don't want a minor pentatonic scale. We want a major pentatonic scale. So what you can do is play that exact same shape starting on your pinky. And just think about, you know, instead of going like this, starting on your next finger, Think about starting on that same shape, that second note of that scale being your pinky there on that A, and that would put your index finger down here on this F sharp, the second fret. But so if you do that and kind of move your um, paradigm or your universe instead of this F sharp note for minor to here on this A note with your pinky, and you just play through that same shape, only make that your focus, now you're playing an A major pentatonic scale. And if I really emphasize those A notes, it sounds really major, right? But if I go down to that F sharp, it, all of a sudden it sounds like I should be playing over F sharp minor chord, which is exactly kind of the concept we're talking about. So the point is that this is such a useful skill on guitar for playing over major or minor uh, chords, and you can use it for both. It's just you have to shift your thinking about, and your kind of tonal central center from your index finger to your pinky for a major chord. So if you wanted to play over like a B major chord, you just shift up to where your pinky is on a B note, and then and play that uh, starting from your pinky on that B note, same shape. And when you do this, what happens is the chord that I'm using out of the cage system, or the chord that's underlying the shape, this pentatonic shape, is a G shape, okay? And you can see kind of the pentatonic scale lying under here, and it takes some visualization um, power, if you will, but it starts on your pinky, right, with the scale shape. You can see it there with that G I'll put up here, the scale shape and the major pentatonic scale. Now, the root notes for this scale 
when it's major aren't on the E string, uh, the D string and the high E string like it would be if it was minor. Instead now, it's on, it is on the E string, the low E string, but it's with your pinky, right? And then there's another one on the high E string with your pinky. And the other root note for this one is right there on the second fret of the G string. And if you look at a G major chord shape, just to open G major, that's where the root notes are for that shape. And that's exactly how you wanna kind of rubber stamp this. And the first thing you wanna think about, just like we did with the other major pentatonic scale that we played with, it's just memorize where the root notes are in the shape. And you don't have to be able to make this shape. This is a wicked shape, but you do need to be able to visualize it and know where the root notes are. So that's kind of step one. Now step two would be to visualize where all the notes are in this arpeggio. And those are all notes out of the major pentatonic scale. Those are just the ones you're gonna to wanna to emphasize when you're playing over, in this case, an A major chord using the G major shape. And the third thing uh, you wanna think about, and you can think about this like transparencies, you know, the old school transparencies where you had overlays uh, and the clear plastic things that shine, shine up on the wall. If you don't know, just think about it in layers. So roots are the first layer. The chord, or the arpeggio, is the second layer. And the third layer is the major pentatonic scale. That's standard minor pentatonic shape. You're just starting, you're shifting your root note focus to these guys instead. Now, by the same token, you can use this, and this is where we're gonna segue uh, the improv loop into talking about playing over minor chords. You can also use that exact same shape, this one. Right, to play over an A minor chord or a minor chord, all you have to do is start on your index finger instead and just play that same shape. And you automatically get into minor land. And when you play, use this shape for a minor chord, the shape that goes underneath it, the root notes don't change, it's the same for major and minor. So, low E up to over two for the D string for that root note, and then the high E string too. Same root note shapes as the major pentatonic we went over. But the chord changes from major to minor, and then the minor pentatonic, or the pentatonic scale we're using changes from this. To a regular minor pentatonic scale starting on that A with your first finger. Now, again, this is a segue from playing over major chords into minor chords, and this can all be summed up saying this. If you want to play over a major chord with this minor pentatonic shape, start on the root note on the bottom E string or the high E string, wherever you want a root note, with your pinky, okay? On either of the E strings, okay? And you can play, and you get major. If you want minor sound, use that same root note, but start with your index finger. So you can start on the high E string. with your index finger or the low E string. And then, then um, the chord that goes along with this is the E minor shape. So again, uh, just kind of to reiterate the transparency or layers idea, the first thing you wanna think about is A's, the octaves, or the root notes, and then the shape that goes over them. And for, the, for this position, for the E major chord and the E minor chord, all the octaves are the same. For major pentatonic, you have the E major shape. For minor pentatonic, you have, or for the minor chord, you have the E minor shape. And then for major minor pentatonic, you can choose major, or you can just start with your pinky and use your quote unquote, you know, minor pentatonic shape. And that's what we're gonna focus on with the jam track. I have a jam track for you here. I'll play a little bit of it. It's just four measures of, uh, I got a loop for you. It's four measures of A major. One, two, three, four, then four measures of E minor. Oh, sorry, A minor. And that's all it is. Uh, the jam track that I have for you has like drums and bass with it. So it's a little more entertaining than this. Or you can make your own uh, loop that just flips back and forth between a major and minor chord. And the key here is to keep the root the same. So you're gonna have an A major chord for four measures, then an A minor chord 
for four measures. And what you wanna do here is use that same exact shape. So if we're starting on an A major chord, start on the A note with your pinky and just play your standard shape. I'm not worrying about being too creative uh, with my improvisation yet. We'll get into that more in future lessons with the minor, but when it moves to an, uh, an A minor chord, you wanna keep that same root note in your mind's eye, but start on your index finger. So, I mean, I know that's a lot of information and if you've never um, looked at this before, you may wanna watch this video a few times just so you can get the basic idea in your head. And if you have any questions, always uh, just leave them in the comments below uh, if I need to clarify anything for you guys, because it is a little bit weird to start this at first. But um, the best thing you can do is just start the loop. And it starts off on major, so start with your pinky. And then it goes to minor, so index. And back to major, back to pinky. You can come up to this major pentatonic shape. the idea and that is gonna oh a lot of what we do as far as improvising when we're starting out is just playing over either major chord or a minor chord and this is a really easy way to get into it with just one shape minor start with your index finger on it uh, on the root note major start with your pinky and this is a really good exercise and this we're going to uh, how to play over minor or how to improvise over minor chords more in the next three lessons, just like if we do it at the major pentatonic. But this is a good primer just to start thinking about how to use this one scale shape to cover you know, any major or minor chord that may come up uh, that you need to solo over. So that's it for this episode of the Improv Loop. If you have any questions about how to apply this, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to download the jam track, or if you have your looper, just make a loop of something like four or eight measures of a major chord, followed by four or eight measures of the same root note for the minor chord, and just start going over it. Don't try to be too fancy with this. The main thing you wanna take away from this lesson is being able to use that minor pentatonic shape to play over a major chord, starting with your pinky, or a minor chord if you start with your index finger on the lowest or highest root notes. All right, don't forget to go to Merlin's YouTube channel, Merlin Music, if you want some extra jam tracks that you can have fun with and improvise over. And also, don't forget to go to guitarfam.com and create your complimentary account if you haven't already done that. Every Guitar Fam member gets one personal, private, complimentary, one-on-one -on -one video lesson with me. You can schedule that on the site if that sounds like something you're interested in. I'll see you in the next lesson.